What's up guys, it's Neriku here, back at it yet again with a brand new problem. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I'm releasing regular content on a semi-daily basis. And I just want to go ahead and warn each and every one of you before we begin that today's video is very, very cringy. It's sad to see just how far rap can degrade when you pile a bunch of uncoordinated, no rhythm having honkies into one room and let musical magic happen. So with that said, sit back, relax, and prepare your sweet, sweet, unmolested buttholes. Because it's about to get cray cray up in here. They're not watching, don't worry. As a resident of Miami-Dade County, it is your right to know the names and likenesses of sex offenders living in your area. As a public service, we have created this videotape so that you and Why is he your staring friends at the camera like that? stay aware, stay safe, and maybe even have a little fun. Enjoy. What? Have fun? What kind of fun are we looking to have with sex offenders, my dude? Come on, guy. That wasn't that was not a well-timed joke. Uh oh, looks like the music is about to go. Oh, did you guys hear that beat drop though? Yes, let's get into it. 1988 Miami Dade Dade County Sex Offender Registry. Okay. State of Florida has asked us to disclose our sexual crimes. Oh no. We were bad, but now we're good. Moving into your neighborhood. Oh no. What is wrong with that guy? That guy right there with the white jacket. His face. Oh my gosh. To be functioning members of society. We are not here to start oh. no trouble. We're leaving the to the sex offender shuffle. I'm Larry Arthauer, and I'll refrain from touching my neighbor's kids again. Okay. What I did was not too kind, but I'm a nice guy you'll come to find. Got <laughs> okay. a backyard and a real nice pool. Y'all should come over for a barbecue. We can make some Okay, pool and barbecue don't don't rhyme, my dude, but you seem to have bars regardless and um maybe you shouldn't touch kids anymore. Cold drinks in my blender, but do keep in mind that I'm a sex offender. Burn oh. Douglas is Okay, so here's the guy. What the frick is he wearing? What is this? Oh my gosh, it's 90s fashion at its best. Sorry about the low definition video, guys. Like, I can't get this thing in high def for nothing. My name, my battery arrest is what brought me fame. But there's much more to know about me. I love to dance and I love to ski. Okay. This dude has the moves. And watch me go. But I can't ski until December. So then I'm just a sex offender. I'm you never explained why you're a sex offender, my dude. You just kind of just, just said that you got in trouble for battery. So... Yeah, I'm I'm a little confused about that, but I'm not going to I'm not going to stay on that too long. Charles Dolan, dropping rhymes. I've been arrested 7 times. I know that sounds like a lot. 3 of those times were for vandalism. Feel real bad. <laughs> I... 3 of those times were for vandalism. <laughs> it's 7 times. What are what are you doing, dude? And you look more creepy than the rest in a way because you have that menacing stare, that thousand yard stare. Yeah, just, just creeping me out. I got caught. Might do it again. Probably not. Uh Might do it again? You're going to say that on tape? Dude, no. No. No, stop it. Stop. I'm not here to make pretenses. Here because of my sex offenses. I'm Sam. Oh I'm no. Oh yes. This is the guy. His name is Sam Pound. Yes. This dude just jumped in front. He was so excited to get his time on the on, on the, the track so he can get his rhymes out there, guys. Number one. Apologizing for what I've done. So I take back what I said about the last guy. This dude looks like he's the creepiest guy out there. Just saying, because that mustache, oh my gosh, the the round, the the uh what what's the rotundness of you mr pound um great name by the way it just matches everything about you but uh yeah just the rotundness of you just makes it just roll off the tongue sam pound for what i've done in case you are wondering what that was i snuck into a bathroom and i <laughs> I have to replay that. I have to replay that because he's so that awkward. Was, and it just stops like that. <laughs> they cut it out. Why would they cut it out? Now you guys 
<laughs> what the heck did you do? <laughs> what is that face that you're making, my guy? What is this face? Oh my gosh, he's sure, making a face here. Let me, let me see if I can get it. <laughs> he keeps cutting it too quick. He's, and what the heck is with the hand? What did you do with your hand? Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sex offense is is a terrible, terrible crime, but that is hilarious to me. I, I couldn't help it. That was that was funny. Oh no, they have the epic sex guy. Oh snaps, the sax guy's getting it. Hey everybody, I'm Laura Hughes. Pretty oh girls no, can there's a girl. I mean, she doesn't look too bad though. Like, hold on, let's see if she got the cakes. Do it too, and by it I mean touch your cousin. Was it worth it? No, it wasn't. Okay, well, she probably doesn't have cakes, and she's not too bad looking. So, like, I don't know if that would be technically considered sex offense because, like, if she had inappropriately touched me, I probably just probably would have let it happen. Child's play set because I gotta wear this. Oh, no, bracelet. what are those? I know that that meme is dead, but seriously, what are those? Those are not the white vans, those are terrible. Those are terrible. I'm not here to go on a bender. I'm here because I'm a sex okay. offender. Last name, Bermholt. Oh First no, name Mark, Mark Bermholt. Bermholt? Bermholt? Yeah, you look like a sex offender, my guy. Look at those glasses, bro. Look at that hair. Look at that. It's like almost a bowl cut. But what the heck is going on with the neck brace? I'm really trying to figure out. Like, you weren't successful at, at it, were you? It, you just didn't do a good job at offending sexually. Yeah. I'm moving in somewhere on your block, not in a house, but in a van. If you need me to move it, oh I no, sure can. this guy has Last the worst rhymes out of anyone else. And why does he have a van? No. That I want is any trouble. Learn my lesson from the sex offender shuffle. Oh no. I'm the one they call Arthur Chase. They said I didn't have to show my face. My first trial ended in a hung jury. If I'm found guilty, they'll unblur me. I'm not the necrophiliac Arthur Chase. That's a different Arthur Chase. I'm not here to be my own. <laughs> That's a different Arthur Chase. I'm not that Arthur Chase. That's a different Arthur Chase. That's the best rhymes in the entire song, guys. Best rhymes. A sex okay, real quick. I'm not like these people. Okay, this is an extortion plot by my ex-wife, who's the only witness. Yeah. Here to pack my duffel. I'm just here to do the sex offender shuffle. That poor guy. That poor guy. Dude, I feel for you, my guy. I'm so sorry. I have nothing else to say. I'm just, just sorry, man. Sorry that happened. Um, I'm sure this is this is BS. This is not real. This is, this couldn't be real. Um, but I just really feel bad for him. Let's see what the rest of the video has for us. State of Florida has asked us to. Okay. So our sexual crimes to you. We were bad, but now we're good. We're moving into your neighborhood. Oh no. What was that wave? <laughs> Do you see the guy in the background with the offbeat clap? Did anyone else notice him? Why didn't he get a chance to spit some bars? I just I just really want to know. Here, start no trouble. Oh no, look at trouble. those shorts. Look at those shorts. He's the only one wearing those shorts. Dude, no. No, that was the sex offense right there, was those shorts, I'm sure. All right, guys, that was definitely a treat. The Sex Offender Shuffle. It's it's an incredible, incredible video. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down in the description below for you guys who haven't seen it. You guys need to see it. It's great. It's worth a watch. It's a short video, so, I mean, it's definitely worth a watch. However, there is definitely a sex offender problem. Um, also, not just because of the fact that there are sex offenders out there, but there's also issues with people wrongly classifying people as sex offenders. And I don't mean to get political or anything, but Lacey Green will teach you guys a little something about that, about how pretty much anything is sex offense. So let's just not talk about that. Also, 
while I have the chance to talk about it, let's go ahead and, and talk about the um, Kevin Spacey situation. Now, I I wasn't really going to talk about this initially, and now that I kind of have a platform about sex offenders to talk about it, I just kind of want to give my two sits on the issue. Some of you guys may have heard about this already. Some of you guys already know what's going on. But basically, Kevin Spacey, the world-renowned actor, was um, accused of being a sex offender to some other actor for when the actor was, I think it was like 10 or 11, maybe even like 13 years old. Anyways, I don't know all the details, but all I know is that even if this did happen, even if this did happen, Kevin Spacey is not the same guy he was back in the 80s when this did happen. And if it didn't happen, why are we believing someone without any visual evidence or without any evidence to speak of? All we have is circumstantial evidence at best. Evidence and without a shadow of a doubt that this thing happened because this entire situation, this entire accusation has spawned an entire controversy on Kevin Spacey's career that now other people are coming forward saying the same thing. And the same thing happened to um, Bill Cosby a few years ago. It same thing happened like with Kobe Bryant. These issues, they just kind of keep on repeating themselves, you know, time and time again. And I don't want to go ahead and talk about the issue that Kevin Spacey came out and said he was gay. I don't really care about that. More so, I'm just upset that one of my favorite actors now doesn't have a career anymore and is being shut down from any gigs, any jobs, anything he has before. And people are pretty much turning their back on him making him seem like he doesn't exist as a person anymore just because of something that happened in the past that may not have happened at all and even if it did happen he this was come on guys this was forever this is over 30 years ago now so could you say that kevin spacey is still the same guy he was 30 years ago even if it did happen and if it didn't happen why the heck are we believing it without real evidence Kevin Spacey, you messed up when you you didn't deny it. You should have flat out denied it, or you should have said you don't remember anything like that ever happening. It didn't happen. You should have denied it, and then you know, then face the repercussions of people calling you a liar. Because now I'd rather be called a liar any day than a sex offender. So, hey man, I'm sorry. That's all pretty much I have to say about that issue. So sorry guys, didn't mean to go out on a tangent, but I just had to address it just in case you guys were wondering, you know, what I thought about the issue or where I stood with it. So yeah. That just about does it for me, guys. I feel like my life after the sex offender shuffle will never be the same again. And to those who are already hitting me up in the comment section saying, This is such an old video. Blah, blah, blah. Wah, wah, wah. Let me tell you something, bruv. I don't give a shit. Okay? The video is new to me, and that's what's important here. So get a life, my guy. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch the video with me. Just saying. You don't have to watch me watch it. You don't have to comment on me watching it. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and ever so gently, like always, tongue punch that like button for me. And if you hated it, then just fist that thumbs down button. Also, if you're new here, then why the hell aren't you subscribed already? I make funny videos, roast people, and generally just have a great time on the internet. So if you guys want to go ahead and get involved with that, go ahead and keep it 100. You know what I mean? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button like always. And once again, my name is Neriku, aka Penis the Meanest. And I will catch every single one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace. <laughs> This is my game. This is my game. Finding the strange. Exposing the lane. Hyper lovers be wet. Maybe we will stay over there. These boys are insane. This is my game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh.